Guys, you clicked on this video because you want to know should you buy a hybrid car. By the end of this video, I'm going to go through a few points and you will know by the end of this video whether you want to buy a hybrid car or not. So stick around for all the points because it took many hours of research and you know many hours of driving, testing quite a few things on this car and I will reveal all the results to you today. So stick around for that. Five, the five points I'm going through uh, what is the real fuel consumption you will get in a hybrid car? Must you charge it? Number three, what is the battery warranty? That is a, main, a very big concern of hybrid cars. Being a hybrid car, does it drive like a normal car? And after all, it is a car, so it has a lot of features that normal cars have which tend to be overlooked. So let's get right into it. Before we get to the five points, let me point out that I'm driving a Toyota Corolla. Not the Cross, not the hatch, it's a sedan. Toyota Corolla sedan 1.8 XR so it's the top of the range it's a 1.8 liter the price is 548,200 rand and that's the main features I want to tell you right at the start so let's get right into it Toyota claims 3.9 liters per 100 kilometers on this car what is the real fuel consumption I've driven this car for a week right and I've done a lot of city driving and I tested it out a lot on the different modes now because it's a hybrid I wanted to test out power mode a lot so I did go on power mode quite a bit and my average was around between 4.9 and 5.1 liters per 100 kilometers. I think that's really phenomenal, even though Toyota claimed 3.9. To be getting 4.9, 5 liters, 5.1, and driving the way you want to drive, I wasn't trying to get the best fuel consumption. I just wanted to see if I'm driving this car, you know, and driving the way I want to, overtaking, accelerating hard, doing all the things that you would normally do in city driving what is the actual fuel consumption and can this hybrid keep up i mean can it keep up with the way i'm driving and yes guys i'm happy to say it did i so i didn't for once feel that i was you know trying to be uh, frugal with uh, my kilometers i was pressing it now let me just put it in power mode and you guys can hear it does make a bit of a sound but it moves and even driving like this you know accelerating hard like this here and then braking hard like what i'm doing now getting to a robot braking it's still the fuel consumption did not move from 5.1 in fact i used to get under five liters a lot of the time so in terms of fuel consumption you really really will save a lot it will take time you have to have the car for quite a while before you can save a lot on fuel consumption depending on what other cars you could get so that's what I'm saying about the fuel consumption. That was the first point. The second point, must you charge the car? That's a very common question with hybrid because with the advent of electric cars and people talking about uh, fast charging and normal charging, how long does it take to charge? Now, with a hybrid car, it is self-charging. You will never have to plug it in anywhere. So if you look at the fuel cap, is there's only place to put fuel in. There's no place to charge. That's because it's self-charging. So the car, it's intelligent, it has a system generally if you're under 40 kilometers per hour you will be using the battery and when you go over it will kick into petrol to charge the battery battery but if it finds that you your battery is a bit low and then it'll it'll charge you so you'll never have to worry so you don't even have to check what the battery monitor is you just keep your eyes on the road and you let the car do the do the charging and sometimes you'll hear it alternate between battery and non-battery because you can definitely hear the difference and i'll get into some drive quality later but to let you know you do not have to charge it only an electric car but a hybrid you don't you do get a plug-in hybrid but i'm not discussing that in this video i do have plug-in hybrids on my channel but for this one a normal hybrid car no charging is necessary i mean no plugging in charging is necessary but the car does it not you okay in terms of the warranty now toyota gives a hundred thousand kilometer warranty on the vehicle itself and for the battery it gives a hundred and ninety five thousand kilometers as a warranty now that hundred ninety five thousand is generally almost the life of the car depending on how long you're going to keep it for but a hundred ninety five thousand kilometers should cover your lifetime and the only thing i would say about the battery is because hybrids are new in the country i would advise you to speak to if you're going to a dealership or wherever you're going to purchase the car from speak to them and ask them what is their expertise about batteries has other people brought in cars that had issues with the battery have they managed to sort it is it covered by the warranty and th that's the main thing because you're buying the car it is a bit more expensive than a normal petrol car and you're buying it because of, because it's going to save you on fuel consumption the last thing you want is you're saving on fuel but then something happens to the battery and then it's going to cost you much more 
than the fuel you are saving so that's something to watch out for please check with your dealership find out who who in-house or what happens if you have an issue with the battery and then you can you know decide what you're going to do from there the fourth point does it drive like a normal car this is a very important question and something that you need to consider you know why because as much as you will be saving fuel you'll be driving the car so i have driven the toyota corolla cross and it was not the best drive when i stepped into this one here the toyota corolla 1.8 xr the sedan i noticeably even though it's from the same manufacturer it could be that maybe the, the corolla cross came out earlier so they might have refined this a bit but it definitely feels quieter and there was a lot of droning noise in the toyota corolla cross which i do not get in this car and it is a cvt it the cvt seems to be much better refined in this toyota corolla um, sedan it definitely does not drive like a normal car because you don't get that it's not it's not a turbo so you're not getting that um gruff you know that 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 feeling when you put your foot down of the the sound as opposed to the the feel as well when i get a chance i'm just in a bit of okay i'm going to press it down now and let's see how it feel how it feels you guys can see so when you press it down the only signal that you get that you're driving fast is the car moves faster you hear the loud sound but you don't get that that thrill of of the drive but i must say you will definitely get used to it and if you are someone who loves to drive fast and and enjoys you know performance cars and something that's going to give you that feel of driving fast a hybrid might not be for you but if you are someone who's looking to save petrol someone who just enjoys uh, uh, enjoys a, a car the normal you know the, like a speed freak or anything like that then th the drive of this car although like i said it's not like a normal car it's it's very it's still nice and it's enjoyable and it's extremely smooth i'm really happy that it drives better than the toyota corolla cross because that wasn't that didn't leave in terms of driving expectations that wasn't the best hybrid i've driven and i was a bit disappointed about that although the car as a whole was very very nice i'm very happy that this toyota corolla sedan drives much better than the cross even though it was manufactured by toyota so in terms of driving not exactly like a normal car but you can get used to it point number five normal car features now remember when you're whether you're buying an electric car a hybrid car a petrol it's still a car so in this car you mustn't only look at the fuel that you're saving look at the way the car drives look at the safety features look at it look at the practicalities of why you want the car now this sedan it has an as you know toyota corolla it's a very very popular car and for good reason it ticks a lot of boxes now i mean toyota corolla being as popular as it is and in a hybrid i mean it's really the best of both worlds and as you can see at the back the boot is very big the car is absolutely spacious the features you get you got adaptive cruise control you got 18 inch alloy wheels ground clearance is not much to speak of it's a sedan it's not a 4x4 you've got uh, onboard navigation you got heated seats you got electric windows you can elect electrically adjust the the driver's seat front and back or uh, sideways not sideways sorry um you can adjust the passenger but not um automatically you have to manual it's manual labor is required you do have smart entry so you can just you know tap your finger uh, lock the car unlock the car so there are many reasons to buy the toyota corolla other than it just being a hybrid so the other normal car features it has are absolutely phenomenal seven airbags it has a, good, a, de a decent sound system not the best but it is decent and after all it is 548,000. it's a bit more expensive actually than the toyota corolla cross well from when i did review it the prices have went i have went up overall it's a very very nice car and the fact that it's a hybrid is really really a cherry on top it's just a little bit more expensive so if you can't stomach the the additional price you're paying for the hybrid then i'd say the toyota corolla is a very very good car to go for guys there's just, there's, there's just something i would like to mention 97 percent of you guys that are currently watching this video are not subscribed to the channel if you can please please take a moment if you've ever enjoyed a video on this channel if you're currently enjoying this video and finding value and learning about a hybrid car please hit the subscribe button because if this video gets a thousand views just to give you perspective if a thousand people watch this video only nine only 30 are subscribed 970 of you guys that are watching this currently are not subscribed guys you have no idea how much 
this channel benefits from you guys subscribing put your notifications on then you'll be notified as soon as new videos come out there's some really exciting ones coming out that i can't wait to share with you and again please if you haven't hit the subscribe button by now please hit the subscribe button share this video with someone you know who is looking for a hybrid car and i will see you guys in next week's video